वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स इन जियो ऑनलाइन क्लास एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द सेक्शन थ्री ऑफ चैप्टर थ्री दैट इज ओजोन डिप्रेशन सो प्लीज ओपन पेज नंबर फोर्टीन दैट स्टार्ट ओजोन इज द फॉर्म ऑफ ऑक्सीजन दैट कम्बाइन थ्री ऑक्सीजन एटम्स इन टू इच मॉलिक्यूल ओजोन इज नॉट द सेम एज द ऑक्सीजन विद ब्रीथ विच हैज टू एटम्स पर मॉलिक्यूल देर इज वेरी लिटल ऑफ दिस गैस इन द एटमोसफेयर एंड इट्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इज नॉट यूनिफॉर्म it is concentrated in the stratosphere between 10 and 50 km above the surface of the earth so first of all what is a zone it is a form of oxygen with three atoms it a zone is not the same as the oxygen we breathe the difference between the oxygen we breathe and the zone is this that in a zone we have three atom or we have oxygen with three atoms and the oxygen we breathe it has two atoms and where it is found it is concentrated in stratosphere we have already discussed about the layers of atmosphere in the previous chapter and we know that stratosphere is the layer where we found ozone so what is the main function of the ozone that it absorbs harmful ultraviolet rays that it is absorbing harmful ultraviolet radiations and protecting us from their harmful impacts the presence of the ozone layer in our atmosphere is crucial because it absorbs the harmful ultraviolet rays of for the of the sun if it was not for ozone the ultraviolet rays would reach the surface of our planet making it uninhabitable thus anything that reduces the amount of ozone in the atmosphere could affect the well-being of life on earth so that means is that as ozone is playing a very important role that it is absorbing the harmful rays that if we if anything reduces the amount of ozone in the stratosphere then it would indirectly affect the living organisms on the earth so there is a element that reduces the ozone amount and it is called cfc which is also known as chlorofluorocarbon so does anything that reduce the amount of ozone in the atmosphere could affect the well-being of life on earth this problem is called ozone depletion so this as uh, reducing the, the the element that reducing the amount of ozone in the stratosphere and this reduction of ozone amount is known as ozone depletion the idea of ozone depletion was first presented in 1974 by two researchers and according to them the release of the chemicals chlorofluorocarbons which are used in aerosol sprays depleting the atmosphere's protective ozone layer the sunlight separates the chemicals into atoms and when the chlorine atoms react with ozone it is converted into oxygen so this is all about ozone that it is a form of oxygen with three atoms it is concentrated in stratosphere its main function is to absorb harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun and there if anything reduces the amount of ozone in the atmosphere that is the chlorofluorocarbon which is used in aerosol sprays and this reduction of ozone amount in the atmosphere is known as ozone depletion so next we have pro- properties of cfcs in as an important fact when chlorofluorocarbons were first introduced they were highly acclaimed for their many qualities there are some qualities that they are stable they are non flammable wo burn nahi hote they are less toxic toxic jitne zehreele nahi hai and they are inexpensive aur itne mehenge bhi nahi hai if it was it was later discovered that one chlorine atom can destroy a 100000 ozone molecules but their one property is very bad that one atom of chlorine can destroy about 100000 ozone molecules so when they will destroy the ozone molecules they will indirectly affecting the life on the planet earth so in next slide we are going to discuss about the causes of ozone depletion we have already discussed this that the human activities and the cfcs are the res- responsible for ozone depletion so let's read in paragraph the loss of ozone in the atmosphere is a result of human activities that pollute the environment the amount of cfcs in the atmosphere which is the main cause of ozone depletion has been increasing day by day 
Scientists took serious notice in October 1995 when they identified through satellite images a hole in the ozone layer. So, scientists in 1995, scientists came to know that the amount of CFCs is increasing day by day in the atmosphere and it is depleting, it is causing ozone depletion. And they came to know about this through images which were taken through satellites. The images of ozone hole. So what can be done? How can we reduce this ozone depletion? To save the ozone layer from further depletion, each one of us should accept their responsibility and do what is in our reach. So we have to play our part. We have to take some steps that we can follow and we can reduce the ozone depletion. The first one is that always unplug electronic appliances when they are not in use as they emit CFCs. Number two, refrigerators upgrade, upgradation. The refrigerators made before 1995 used refrigerant made from CFCs and are a major contributor to CFCs in the air. These must be replaced with modern ones. The old ones should be disposed of properly. So the old ones should be disposed of and we need to replace them with the modern ones which are not using CFCs from as refrigerants. So third point is air conditioners. Air conditioners made before 1994 used a CFC called Firon. These may no longer be in use but the present day air conditioners do use chemicals called HCFCs. Although these are not as harmful to the ozone layer as CFCs, they do contribute to its depletion. Therefore, air conditioning should be used as little as possible. So, in case of air conditioners which were using, which we were using before 1994, they had CFCs which were called Freon. But later, they upgraded them, and then uh, um, now they use another chemicals which are HCFCs, which are not as harmful as compared to CFCs, but they are also depleting uh, ozone layer. So what we have to do that we have to reduce the use of air conditioners. Foam also contains CFCs. It should be used as little as possible. So same is the case with foam. We also we need to reduce the use of foams too. Number five, the cleaning products used in our homes contain toxic chemicals that affect the ozone layer. These should be replaced with eco-friendly and natural cleaning products. So we, so we need to replace the toxic chem uh, toxic chemicals which are used in cleaning products by eco-friendly chemicals and cleaning products. Number six, nitrous oxide. Nitrous oxide, which is quite commonly used, has been found to be more harmful to the zone layer than CFCs. They are more harmful as compared to CFC. Unfortunately, governments have not taken notice of this yet. It is used in medical procedures to increase the output of car engines and in the food industry, among other uses. So we are using nitrous oxide in different procedures like medical, in car engines, and in food industry. So we also need to reduce the use of nitrous, nitrous oxide. In last seven point, what we can do, the number of cars on the route should be reduced. We can reduce the number of cars by using bicycles or through walk or through by using public transport. Car exhaust creates smog, which is very bad for the ozone layer. So this is all about Section 3 ozone depletion. What we discussed in this chapter that what is ozone? Ozone it is a form of oxygen with three atoms and it, it is found in stratosphere and its function is to absorb harmful ultraviolet radiations of the sun and the amount of ozone is reducing in the atmosphere. We call this phenomena as ozone depletion. There is an element which is reducing the amount of ozone or which is causing ozone depletion with these are CFCs or chlorofluorocarbons and they were first discovered in 1995 and through these steps we can reduce the amount of uh, ozone depletion. So please keep watching my videos. If you have any confusion, you can ask. Thank you.